Hey guys, Amber from Tocito Homestead. So, today's video is a little bit different. Uh, uh, some of y'all probably know, and I've said in one of the videos, or some of the videos, that um, we're doing some remodel on the house. Kind of been in the process for that of that for quite a while. Um, but today, we are ripping down plywood and getting started on our dining room floor. So, not sure if y'all have seen plywood floors, kind of DIY plywood flooring. Um, so what we've done is ripped down planks of plywood and basically doing plywood floor in our dining room. And then we're gonna torch the wood to make this really cool look on it. And then we will polyurethane it. So I'll give you a little sneak peek on what we're doing. And um, I'll let y'all show you the torching of it and kind of an I give you an idea of what it's gonna look like when we're done. So it's pretty cool. Uh, we're excited to get going on this and to share it with y'all and maybe it could be something that y'all do in your house someday or or whatever if you're wondering about some flooring, do it kind of a cheaper way, a cheaper uh, way of doing wood floors. Um, this is a pretty cost-efficient way of doing it and it looks pretty cool too so all right here we go so here are the planks that we've ripped down basically uh, four planks is a sheet of plywood a whole pretty much a whole four by eight sheet of plywood we just had that little these pieces are the cut pieces off of the end and so um, it turned it ended up that uh, a whole foot didn't really work out because we had a the last piece was a lot smaller than the rest and so um, when we cut it into four pieces so it worked quite a bit better and um, for us to do it 11 and a half inches. So these planks are 11 and a half inches wide. Um, so it's really wide wood flooring basically. Uh, these we're gonna put some glue on the back of them and screw them and then we will torch them on the floor. And after that, we will poly your thing. There is the man of the hour. <laughs> you chest hair showing, daddy? Oh, yeah. <laughs> So I was explaining how we ripped it down. We ripped it down on this table saw, 11 and a half inches. I think it's gonna be pretty cool, Dad. All right, here we go. So he has the first piece laid already, glued and screwed into the floor, into the sub flooring. What I did is just, uh, I'm breaking it on the joists. By breaking it, I mean I'm landing on the joists. Every time the seam is, everywhere there's a seam, there's a joist, floor joist underneath the subfloor. So we know that we're getting good connection. So I know that I'm landing on something that's going to hold right. and support the weight. So you'll start, you know, I'll put the F26 on the bottom, flip it over, screw it down. And the next one I'll start right here. And I'll break it on this one back. Yes. And the next one I'll break it. Right. I'm not sure if I want to go every every 16 inches. I might I might break it up as I go to to so it won't be the same. And to, to make it a little easier, mm -hmm. we marked we found where our joists are by the, the subflooring and we know it's gonna break at 16 16 inches, so there's the joist. At that seam, so we marked it here, so we can keep in line where the joists are. Marked them on the floor to make it a little easier where you can, you can see where the joists are, where he's going to break it at.
working out pretty cool, I think. This one's good. You want to see all your things? Hey guys, what's going on? Me and my helper here today are going to show you what to do if you have a bad side on your plywood, which is this side. And then you have this side over here, which is your better side, and it's got words on it, or a stamp. Yep. So, pretty easy. Handy dandy little sander there. All you gotta do is get a sander, and um, just go to work. Basically, all it requires is a little friction mm -hmm. and abrasion. Abrasion solves the equation. <laughs> Put your pad down on the board and go to work. So, uh, <laughs> but yeah, it, get most of it out. Pretty much all of it will be gone. And then when you come back with your torch, Covers. you won't even be able to see it anymore. Yeah, you'll cover the rest. Yep. So. <laughs> He sanded. You can kind of see the stamp right there, but like not really. So, pretty cool. What's going on, guys? Taco here. And today I'm going to put some semi gloss on the floor. It's going to bring it out, make it shine. It's going to bring out the, the burns too in the floor. As you can see, I'll show you. Uh, that's, that's before the semi gloss, okay? That's what it's gonna look like. And then when I put the semi gloss on it, it's gonna pop. Just in case you're wondering what I'm using, this is what I'm using for the floor. Mini wax, fast drying, polyurethane, clear semi gloss, long lasting protection, superior durability, and an applicator. All right, on this applicator pad right here, see it? I just got a paint handle or a broom stick or whatever. <clears throat> I'm gonna go with the grain, right? You never polyurethane a floor against it. Against it would be, you know, the grain's running long ways and against it you would be running the short distance of the board. So you always go with the grain. So when I'm polyurethane the floor, if I'm running, if I'm running with, say for instance, if I'm running with the seams right here, so I'm going, I'm going this way with the polyurethane. I don't stop, I don't stop like right here and take a break, okay? I don't stop, I go all the way to the wall. So whenever you're, whenever you're putting the polyurethane down, you finish your runs from end to end and running with the seam. Because if you stop and take a break and come back, you're gonna be able to tell it. All right, so here's what I was talking about. All right, I'm starting on the corner over here, and I'm gonna run from this wall over here with my, see my stick, my pointer, this wall all the way over to this wall. I'm doing two boards at a time. The length. I'll never go from this point to this point all the way, from, from the width to width, and try to do the whole floor at one time. I only do, I only do two boards, two or three boards at a time. That way you don't get too far ahead of yourself and it starts to dry. And then, like on the on the edge right here, I just kind of take my pad and just buff it out. 
because I can come back and catch up and go right over it and you won't be able to tell it. So that's how I'm doing it and that's what I was talking about as far as the, you know, doing the length of the board from wall to wall. Finish it, come back, work your way back. And always remember when you're doing this right here, what was I saying? I'm telling you to remember something. Uh, Well, maybe I'll think of it in a minute. All right, so I'm about three quarters of the way done. And <clears throat> I'm almost out of all your thing. I think a gallon's gonna do it. So if you see the size of this room right here, a gallon will do this. Plus, you know, the, the first coat, the plywood and the cracks and stuff, you're losing a lot in the cracks, just soaking it up. So I would assume that I'm gonna end up using about two or three gallons in this, in this one room right here. But uh, I did remember what I was gonna say a second ago, and that's work your way out of a room. Don't work yourself into a corner. So. I started over there by the dining room and I'm working my way to the kitchen. You know, if you're if you're in a room that only has one doorway and you start in the doorway and work your way to the wall, guess what? You're stuck. So always leave yourself a place to get out. Um, so I'm gonna keep going and let y'all watch for a second as the music plays. All right, so, and also, I'm only pulling the pad uh, one direction. This is how I'm doing it, okay? I'm only, I'm pulling it to me. I'm not going, pushing it back and forth. I'm just putting the uh, polyurethane down and I'm pulling it back and then I'm, you know, so on and so forth. Uh, I don't want to rub too much of the floor as far as smudging the burn marks, so I'm just pulling it one way. It's just me. What's going on guys? Well, I'm done inside the house. So, uh, what do you do when you worked hard for two hours out of the day? Haul your thing on the floor. What do you do? What do you do the rest of the day? Well, I'm here to tell you. I know what we're going to do. We're going to cook on the grill. And now look, it's, it's not just any grill, okay? <laughs> uh, this right here is what you call you know redneck modification okay let me show you what i got i got two oven racks three t-posts some bricks and a circle and some charcoal i tied the i tied the oven racks to the t-posts so they won't move when i'm cooking and I just put it right over the bricks. And that's how we gonna cook our hamburgers, our smoked sausages, and our hot dogs tonight. What else do you do, you know, when you're waiting on the charcoal? Well, I tell you what I do. I grab me some mustard. I get me a little Louisiana hot sauce. And wouldn't you know it, some Dodge pretzels, okay? because the Southwest pretzel is the only pretzel that I'm gonna eat. And it's just right, seasoned right, tastes good. I got my little bowl right here, 
my little red bowl, you know, and I put my mustard in there, I put my hot sauce in there, stir it up, dip my pretzel, <clears throat> I'm good to go. Ain't nothing better. Turn some music on. So that's how I'm gonna spend my evening today on my day off after I put in a good hard day's work on the floor. I'm pretty sure that she's gonna tell you that I didn't, I didn't really, you know, work that hard, but I sweat, okay? That's all that matters. I sweat, I don't care if I'm fat or not. I still sweat, and that means I'm doing something. So, I'm fixing to get this party started, guys. Hey, look, I wanna tell y'all that I really do appreciate y'all for the comments, subscribing to the channel. It really does mean a lot. I know I say it over and over again. Um, I do this channel for my kids to show them how to do things, and I do it for y'all to show you how we do it, and uh, and for y'all's entertainment, because I know that I have to be entertaining somebody out there that thinks that I'm probably the craziest person alive, but that's okay, because like I said before, thank y'all. All right, so I'm fixing to get started on my second go around on the floor. All right, so second coat. Just the second coat. And now you see the difference. This this right here has one coat on it, and then I've got the steel wool to it. And uh, this right there is the second coat. First coat, second coat. When you go back, you can really you can really see the difference of what it's going to look like. And when, once you get the third coat on there. It's going to be great. 